This planet is called fire. I am its prince. We're at war. A never-ending war against them. He's dead. I'm May. Oh, hi. I'm Stanley Tweedle. Prince killed everyone I ever knew and took my whole world away from me. We lost her. She is dead. No, you can't know that. Prince, what are you doing here? You're, you're dead, aren't you? I will give you May. And in return, you will agree to use this ship, the Lex, to help me to destroy the planet Water. I agree! I'll use the Lex to blow up water if May can live! Stanley? May. You're alive. The old way The old I was sure she was dead. As was I. Well, you were wrong. It is a miraculous recovery. I'm not complaining. You said that being able to tell if someone was dead or alive was the special talent of the Divine Assassin. Killing people was my special talent. But that is correct. I am normally very good at determining the living or non-living state of a human being. How is it made that you are able to appear to be dead? I don't know. Maybe I was dead and I came back to life somehow. I can't remember anything. I'll die if you leave me. Then we will have something in common. And I will return, 790. But how many of these things do we need? I mean, you know, it's only three of us can fly them. We can instruct the moth breeders to fly them if the task is kept simple. It will take many trips, as the Lex has a large appetite. So, Sam, you were there the whole time. What happened? She was dead, and then did she just wake up? Well, no, we thought she was dead. And that, that, is, that is what happened, you know. I was... I was lying there, uh, dreaming, sort of, and, uh, and then I heard something, and I stood up, and she was better. She wasn't just better, Stan. She was dead, and then she was alive. It doesn't make sense. Well, you know, sometimes things just don't make sense. She's still not feeling well. <clears throat> I better go check on her. What do you think, Guy? I think it does not make sense. So, you don't remember anything, do you, May? I mean, from, from when we thought you were, you were dead. I mean, when you came to, you didn't see anybody here besides me, did you? No. No, that's good, that's good. That, that's, what, that's what I thought. I mean, I mean, we were the only ones here, right? I don't understand. Well, when you were dead, I mean, when we thought you were dead, I had a dream and, and Prince was in it. And I thought my dream was real. I mean, I thought Prince was really here, but he wasn't, was he? But he couldn't have been because he's dead. Exactly. I mean, it was just a dream and, and anything, anything that happened in that dream wasn't real. I mean, anything that Prince said wasn't real, anything that I agreed to wasn't real. So 
I don't have to pay any attention to it, do I? Oh. What's wrong? Oh, oh, oh look, don't, don't worry, don't worry, look. You're still weak and I'm just talking way too much, so just, just slide back and get some rest, okay? Oh. So, Lex, first you go around one planet, and then you go around the other, right? Yes, Stan. We are in a figure eight orbit. Right. So that means that once every orbit, you're pointed at the planet with all the water, and then later, you're, you're pointed at the planet with no water, right? Yes, Stan. That means that if I asked you to, you could destroy one of those planets when you're pointed at it. Yes, I can destroy any planet when I am pointed at it. Which one would you like me to destroy? Oh, neither. N -n not just yet. Um, but tell me, Lex, how long will it be before you're pointed at the water planet again? I will be pointed at the water planet again in six and a half hours. Why, Stanley? Why what? Why well, you're asking how long it is before the Lex is next pointed at the water planet. Oh, I was just curious. Curious. You'll be all right, May. I'll make sure you'll be all right. I am all right. I'm all right because I'm with you. Can I ask you a question? It's only a hypothetical one. Okay, look, uh, I was just wondering. <clears throat> suppose uh, someone cared about somebody else, you know, really, really cared, and that someone else was in trouble, I mean, bad trouble, and meant they were going to have to be killed. And, uh, and the only way to stop them from being killed was to kill somebody else or some other people. Do you think it'd be wrong to do that? How many other people would he have to kill? Oh, few. A relatively large few, sort of. It does not sound balanced. Yeah, but does that mean it's wrong? One special person that you know is worth a lot of people that you don't know, right? I mean, how often do you meet special people? I mean, the one in a million at best, right? She must be very special to you. Who? May. Oh, look, May, it's just a hypothetical question. I mean, it's, it's got nothing to do with reality. Look, I just, I had a dream and it bothered me. You know, just thinking about it, that's all. So when are they gonna be ready? They are ready now. Oh. So you're going to take him and you're going to go get food for Lex. And you're not going to be down there that long. And I mean, you've got to come back right away to make more trips, right? Yes. Yeah, good. Good. Seth. Zev, I got a question for you. What? Well, are you going with Kai down there? Yes. I was hoping he'd stay here on the Lex. I, I may need some help with May. I mean, her condition is, is precarious, isn't, isn't it, 790? Yawn. Look, I'm, I'm worried about her. Will you stay and help me? Follow me. Land where I land. Follow you. Land where you land. I miss him so badly. Why didn't I go with him? Because he didn't take you. But I should have gone. Don't agree. Why? He likes to be alone. Zev? 
It's always better to stay on the Lex and stay safe until Kai checks things out. Why did you want me to stay here on the Lex, then? Well, because I care about me. I care about you. I care about Mr. Death Delicious. But Kai's a guy, and you're a guy, too. I am not a guy. No, he's a homo robot head. I am not. Then what are you? I am a robot head in love with a dead man. And I am a woman. I don't think so. Neither do I. I am. I am. I know I am. I have a tiny fragment of a human brain, and it came from a woman. And how do you know that? I feel it. Deep inside this hard metal casing lies a burning passion that only a woman could feel for a man. I still think I should have gone with him. Kai won't be that long. You, you won't be long, will you, Kai? I do not know what type of food is available or how difficult it will be to procure. Well, you'll eat just about anything, won't you, Lex? I eat all types of organic matter, Stanley. I am very hungry. Yeah, we, we know that, Lex. Won't be long now. Whew. Boy, I don't like these planets. The sooner we get away from here, the better. So you plan to take her with us? Well, everyone she ever knew was dead. Well, maybe she'll want to stay on her own planet. I don't think so. I do. How do you know she won't want to stay? She won't have any reason to. Why? I mean, I don't know. That's just what I think. Fifi, you'll score next time. Oh, so I miss. So what? What's a big deal? Yeah. Anybody get a problem with that, huh? Okay, let's play. Even at us. How long now, Lex? Forty nine minutes. Greetings. I am Kai. Welcome. Welcome. Good to meet you, guy. I'm Fifi. Welcome to Game Town. It looks like a nice place. It is. You look familiar. Oh, yeah? You resemble someone who lived 4,000 years ago. Must have been a good-looking guy. What do you do here? Play games, mostly. Have a good time. Right? <laughs> Do you have food? Oh, yeah, plenty. Good. I would like to obtain some for our ship. Sure, no problem, whatever. So, uh, what do you do? I was an assassin. I killed people. But I do not intend to kill you. Yes. I admit it, okay? I've, I've always had a problem with girls, you know? But I think it's because I never, ever once, not once, in my entire life, 
met one who was uh, you know, really special. You, you know, uh, the one. I mean, you see, if all you want to do with the girl is, is get her into bed, she usually figures it out, which makes it really hard to get her into bed. You know what I mean. So, look, telling you this is a really stupid strategy, and, and I, I, I shouldn't be saying it. But you're the one, May. You're the one for me. And and I'm I'm sure of it. Say that before I. Before what, Stanley? Uh. Well, before I. Uh, before I do. Um. Uh, what I have to do. What's with these guys? They don't seem very bright. They are moth breeders, only able to perform limited tasks related to the moths. So who tells them what to do? I do. What if you're not around? They respond to anyone who is nearby to give them instructions. They have no capacity for self-direction. Really? That's interesting. Oh, by the way, help yourself to all the food you want. We got plenty. We're not going to run out of food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good to be able to give someone something they need more than we do. But it, Brock. That is very generous of you. Our ship has a very large appetite. So, uh, these things hard to fly or what? No, they are easy to fly. They are living organisms and basically fly themselves. The pilot simply guides them with his hand using the joystick. That thing? Yes. You gotta touch that? Yes. Whew. Well, I suppose I could if I really had to. Hey, it looks like you're, uh, Feller's gonna be a while. Care to join us in the game? Of course you will. He's on my team. It's me, the ragman, and all the girls against your losers, right? Right? If you request. Okay, just do what I say. I may not be the greatest athlete, but at least I can think. I'm the only one around here who can do that, right? <laughs> Let's play. Come on. Lex, how long now? We will be directly aimed at the water planet in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Lex, five, I command four, you to. What? Three, Seven. two, Lex, one, I command you to what? Zero. We are now directly aimed at the water planet. Stand. S stay out of the set. Stay out of what? Whatever it is I'm doing, it's just... And what's that? Huh? Let me go, Zev. You don't know what's going on. No, no. I command you to... What are you up to, Stanley? Huh? You tell me what it is right now. I'm going to squeeze the life out of you. Are you going to tell me or what? Are you going to tell me? No? <laughs> All right. Let's move the water plant now! As you command, Stan. What is that? The end of all your problems. Almost. I am sorry, Stanley. I missed. We have passed the position where I was pointed directly at the planet. Why water? I thought if anything you'd want to destroy fire. I had my reasons. Oh, what reasons? And Kai was down there. 
He would have been all right. He's dead already, remember? He's impossible to kill. Well, though Lex's weapon might have destroyed him. Kai's dead. He doesn't care what happens to him. What are you saying, Stan? What happened to you, huh? What's going on? <sighs> okay, okay. Okay. I'll tell you. Because it doesn't matter anymore now, anyway. Look, after May was dead, and I was lying there beside her, Prince came to me. Prince is dead. We left him down on the desert planet, remember? I know that. None of this makes any sense. I mean, first May is dead, and then, then she's not, and, and Prince did come to me. He said that if I used the Lex to blow up the water planet, that he'd bring May back to life. And I said I agreed, but I didn't know if he heard me. And, but then May did come back to life. And that, that's, that's why I didn't want you to go down, go down there with Kai. It was a dream. It must have been. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to know. I know May is dead now. not dead. Are you sure? Yes, 100% sure. But she is on the edge of death. Will she live? I don't know. The protein regenerator is not working, so we cannot help her. She is on her own. She may recover, or she may die. Okay, uh, just, you just go. Uh, just let me be alone with her. You sure? I'm sure. Stan, please don't have any more dreams now. Him, so it's our ball. Yeah. No, I didn't. He fell. Well, it's not my fault if he's clumsy. Come on, Fifi. All right, we'll forget about it and get back to the game. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Uh, his shin hit my foot, okay? Hey, the game's not fun unless we all play fair. Let's just put it behind us and get back to the game. What's about it? You don't like the way I play? Is that it? Oh, Fifi, it's not that. No, no, let me get this straight. You guys are winning. One of you guys gets in my face, and it's my fault. I'm always the bad guy, right? Answer me when I'm talking to you, Brock! Let it go, Fifi. You're taking it too seriously. I'm taking it too seriously? Hey. Whose team are you on, anyway? You're all such a bunch of crybabies. All of you. Uh, no, I don't care. Take the ball. Hey, look. Whatever your name is, uh, we're down 19 to 6. The game only goes to 21. Um, I kind of notice you're just standing around here. Maybe you could put a little life into the game? I cannot put life into my game, as I am dead. You're telling me. Well, do me a favor. Help us out a little bit, OK? What would you like me to do? Score some goals. I play to win. OK. Stan, is that you? No, it is me. Prince, am I dreaming? What is a dream? What is reality? You got shot by an arrow, I saw it. You see me here, Zev. Did you bring May back to life? Yes. How? Do you still care for me, Zev? Yes. I 
think so. Please help me. If I can. Let Stanley do what he must do. Prince. You did not destroy the water planet, Stanley. I tried, but Zev stopped me. Does this mean May is gonna die now? That is up to you. I will give you one more chance. You will destroy water the next time this ship is pointed at it. Or May will be gone from you forever. And if I do? And she will live and be yours for the rest of your life. Stanley? What is it, Stan? Stan, I thought I heard something. What? A person talking. I was, ju it was just me. I was just, I was just talking to myself. Showers that much. I'll see you guys later. So, Kai, do you have enough food yet? I do not think so. It will likely take a number of trips. You hear that, Lex? It may take a number of trips. I am very, very hungry, Stan. Kai, Lex is very, very hungry. Sorry, could you, um... Are you still there, Kai? Yes. Could you, um... do my back? Please? I think you are clean now. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm dirty. Very dirty. You do not seem to fully understand. My body is not alive. Well, mine is. Feel it. Tell me how it feels. It feels... hot. It is. Hot? Hottest. Kai. Ah, ah, ah. I want you to put out my fire, Kai. Kai, what's going on down there? I'm assisting someone who is taking a ah. shower. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. What's your name? Bunny. Bunny. Who is Bunny? A naked young woman. What? He said a naked young woman. Don't do it, Kai. Return to the Lex right away. It's a... Uh, it's an emergency. What emergency? Uh, there's a robot head up here who desperately needs a lube job. Kai, listen. Don't get distracted down there, okay? The Lex is very hungry, and so are we. I do not get distracted.
You missed a spot. Oh. Well, you didn't seem very interested in what was going on down there. I was. I'm just hungry, and it distracts me. It's all. Is it okay if I ask you a question? Go ahead. Uh, I'm really uncomfortable about it. Why? Uh, well, I know it's not right to talk about another fellow behind his back. I will not be uncomfortable. Okay. Have you noticed how there's a, a fella here who, you know, doesn't fit in with the rest of us. Who's, you know, different. You are referring to Fifi. Hey, you did notice. Oh, we've tried everything, Mr. Kai. We've tried to make him fit in. <laughs> we even let him score goals whenever we can. Everyone gives 110% for him, everybody. But nothing works. He just doesn't seem to, you know, fit in. And? And that's just it. He doesn't fit in and we don't know what to do. We thought you might have an idea. So long, suckers! I suspect that Fifi may have just solved your problem himself. Fight me! <laughs> Can't you do something with that arm thing? He is out of range. Fifi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Fifi, I request that you return the moths. I need them to bring food to the Lex. Oh. Uh, the answer is, uh, no. <laughs> Tell him we forgive him in that. We'll try harder to get him to fit in. They all forgive you, and we'll try harder to make you fit in. I'm sick of hearing all their crap. It's okay, Fifi. You'll score next time. It's the best two out of three. Forget about it. I'm sick of it. I'll tell you one thing, though. I play to win. And this time, you guys are the big losers, and I'm the winner. <laughs> you know why? Because I got a hold of all these moths. And I'm going to fly very far away from this never-ending total boredom. Come on, how many times can you play that stupid game anyway? I'm sick of it. So, uh, so long, suckers! <laughs> I think it's real sad. Fifi was, well... You know, different. So, who's up for a game? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. You'll get better soon. May, I know you will. Stanley Tweedle will make sure you do. You can come in. You can come in if you want to. Sev? The Lex will be pointed at the water planet again soon. Oh, is that right? Mm hmm You didn't have any more. Dreams, did you? Oh, no, 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 I'd forgotten about that. You sure? Why? Just asking. Thought he might have. You don't have to worry about me, Zeb. Look, I was, I was acting crazy and, and it passed. Okay? And besides, you were right. Kai might have been destroyed with that planet. So? You were right to stop me. I didn't know you still cared about Kai. Oh, yeah, yeah, I care about the dead man. Not as much as you, but it's nice to have around. Zev, where are you going? Why? Well, just in case, just in case uh, something happens with May and I need your help. I'm tired. I think I'd lie down for a while. Oh. 
Oh, good. Good night, Stan. Night. Good night, Seth. Good night, Kai. Gotta wrap up here, boys! Stay with me! Stay with you. I can't. Can't what? I can't do it. You don't have to do anything. Stanley will do it. I can't let him. Life is full of choices. Not all of them are easy. Kai. Is dead. Whatever happens will not really affect him. And the others. There are a thousand people dying at this very moment on a thousand other planets. What do they really mean to you? Or to me? How long before pointed at the water planet, Lex? We will be there in two minutes, Stanley. Good. Woo! It's warm up here, boys! How long now, Lex? Forty seconds. Planet. We're not going to kill people we don't know. We are not going to kill Kai anymore. Then he's already dead. You hear me? Lex, I command you. No, Stanley. We are not going to destroy the planet. Do you hear me? Okay, Seth. Yes, I hear you. I agree. I agree. Just let me up so I can breathe. Oh, Stanley. Ask the Lex if he's past the point where he can destroy the planet. Ask him, Stanley, and there's no point in trying anything else. Okay. Lex? Lex? 
You still pointed at the planet. Yes, I am, Stan. I will be aimed at the water planet for six more seconds. Five, four, Lex, three, they didn't even try. two, one. We are no longer aimed at the water planet. Help. Prince visited me too. He did? He wanted me to let you do it. Well, maybe it's just as well. You were right to stop me, Zev. But I couldn't help it, I don't think. No, May's gone. She's dead. She's gone from me forever. All right. Let's see. Stan? What? Look. You can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Look at me. I thought you cared for me, Stanley. I do. You I... could have helped me, Stanley. I, I tried to blow up water. But you failed. Water is still there, isn't it? Your wound is better. My wound is not better. It's not there. It's never been there. I never had a wound. And you don't have what it takes to have me, Stanley. So goodbye, Stanley Tweedle. Enjoy your life, what's left of it. May. What? Prince. I do not like the choice she made, Sam. But it was the right choice. I like your choice, Stanley. It's the choice I would have made. The wrong choice. Zev is preventing you from getting your reward. That's too bad. You really would have enjoyed me for a while. But soon you will get another reward. One that you deserve. What does that mean? She shot him with an arrow. I, I saw her do it. I, she was his enemy. I saw her do it. We just saw what they wanted us to see. You are the one, Stanley Tweedle. You are the one. <laughs> That, that rolling thing, I didn't know you could you could do that. Neither did I. Must be the cluster lizard in me. Lex, I want to communicate. Squawker Channel. As you command, Stan. Hi. Yes, Stanley. Uh. Kai, we're getting kind of hungry up here. When are you going to be back? 
I do not know. What do you mean you don't know? I am now stranded here, as I am no longer in possession of the moths. What do you, what do you, what do you mean you don't have possession of the moths? Where are they? I suspect they are headed towards the other planet. Fire. I, I, I don't exactly know how I wound up there. But, but I definitely do know that it wasn't for me. And, and, and seeing how that's the case, and seeing that you guys obviously have a need, and seeing that I happen to get my hands on all these moth things that do exactly what you want. Uh, it looks to me like um, we may have the ingredients to a, 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 a deal here. Right? Uh, you know what? I have, uh, I have plenty of food and water here, too, you know. But that, that, that's not the main thing. No, sir, the main thing is you can forget about your balloons. Yeah, because these moths, they go between fire and water real, real fast. So they're, like, perfect for attacking. Especially if you have some insight. Yeah, you know, like uh, someone like, uh, for instance, uh, uh, me. Someone who can tell you exactly what their defensive plan is. And you know what? I don't even care about getting anything in return. No, I, I, I would just help you attack them because it's what I like to do. That's who I am. It's uh, real hot here. 